Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing you how to play some Wukong top. He's really good top mid and jungle right now. Figured I'd show you how it's done. We have the Conqueror setup with free boots and biscuits. We're gonna get some autos down to start out with. Your E is AoE, so you can blow their stone plate with it. You could have A hitting a minion near them. There, since he's trying to farm, I'm just going in for a heavier trade. Whenever he goes in the last hit, if I have minion advantage, I'm just gonna auto him. take a heavy trade with him here if you're wondering why our e gives us a lot of attack speed i'd like to keep up my conquer i have 12 stacks of conquer seven stacks of my passive he's dead flash e q a lot of times whenever you e you want to auto attack then q but if you know they're immediately going to flash you're better off just e straight into q your q has a lot of range so right when i e there even if he flashed my q still would have gone off kind of like a warwick q a wukong q range is honestly like a thresh auto attack it's really really long but yeah your e gives you a lot of attack speed so in certain matchups like this one when you e on to renekton level one you want to trade off as many autos as possible to utilize your full attack speed uh ooh, my bad yeah you actually want to get sheen first item getting sheen first item is insanely good it turns your e q trades or e auto q trades into monstrous trades that no one can really take Wukong wins pretty much every top lane matchup. I'd say his hardest ones are against things like Malphite, who just stack armor, or Corruption Potion Champs can be hard too. But uh, in general, even things like Set or Gwen, once you're level 2, you just straight up beat them. So just understand if you're strong at level 1 or strong at level 2, and you can play accordingly. He still has this flash here. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll freeze. I'm full HP. That's fine. That was actually a good game. Just a slight misplay on the Zac Q. I think he accidentally autoed the, the uh, Renekton there after he landed Q, or maybe he missed Q on Renekton and then just auto the minion. A lot of the times when you go in and you're going to have trouble, you'll just Q a minion and then hit them with your auto, since it's easier to land auto than the Q if the minions are in the way. Ah, oh, you get to freeze. Feels good. I gotta thin this out a bit. I used my W. You don't typically want to use your W to farm or to shove waves. I don't want to take too much damage here, though. So, I just went, went ahead and let my W tank. We're going to max Q first. E second, W last. We have the wave in a beautiful spot. We're going to have a level advantage on Renekton. We have item advantage, obviously. We want to trade into him immediately. We used our W. If you're going to take a fat trade all into the death or you're trying to escape, it's generally when you're going to use your your W. I'll attack Q. Ooh, we missed cannon off. It wasn't really worth. Only if we kill him here. I'll use a potion. We're having a little bit of trouble CSing. My wave's gotten pretty dang large. I'll attack Q reset. Get the minion. He's TPing back. I want to dump this wave. I'm going to try to catch this. Get my minion wave underneath. Ooh, he's AFK, dude. He's helping his mom with the groceries right there. He missed cannon. That's tragic. Yeah, we've got our wave under. Now we can back off, play safe. We won't be ganked now. We can break wards. We can look to take fruit plants. His jungler might be near that he's pushing for this. Yeah, his jungler's right here. Or his mid laner. They're not going to get me, and I can block off Ari now. My minions are in a beautiful spot. My wave's going to be just fine. Oh, I could just reset. I have cannon wave. Uh, I'll stay, I guess. It looks like Renekton wants to push. After he blows his fury load here trying to shove, I'll just all in him. To the death. I'll attack you. You get a bunch of extra armor and health regen whenever you're fighting champions or monsters. So if you can take long, drawn out fights and you know you win it, it's just it's really, really advantageous in these AD matchups. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my biscuit. I should hit level six first. I want him to engage on me and then I'm gonna W and bait him out. He has more HP right now. He's feeling pretty tough. He's going to back off. I'll catch this wave. It's fine. He might actually end up resetting here.
Oh, geez, the chart just barely keeps messing up the minions. Yeah, I'll reset. I'll act like I'm resetting. I'm level six, so he's pretty scared right now. I'll get him when he goes in for this next minion. I want to make him feel safe, so I'm standing back. And then Ryza gets low, I'll step up, and he doesn't take it. Then I'll step back. And uh, my wave's not actually gonna freeze in my favor. It's gonna push towards him since my wave's reinforcing first. He has barely more minions than me. The reinforcement's basically like an extra two or three minions in terms of value since the wave gets there first to fight. I have a feeling this is warded. I still have my second R as well. You move faster when you're on your R. I want to push this since it's going to shove anyway, so I want to get this dumped. This is good. This is what you're supposed to do. If your top laner needs to back because they're out of HP or mana. If your top laner is full HP, if they can freeze, you generally just leave the wave. But if they're low on mana, low on HP, or if they need to back and spend their gold, you want to help them shove so they can dump wave and get some plates. I'll attack Q reset. Wukong shreds Turk because of his Q. Shane procs works beautifully. You can also E attack speed off of minions. He just got level 6 for some reason. This XP range is just insane. I'm out of mana. I don't want to fight him. He's got his R. There's no reason to fight this. Just let it happen. That was a great gank. One of the cool things about Wukong, guys, I highly, one of the biggest reasons I recommend him is his builds are extremely simple and his build is the same for mid, top, and jungle in terms of runes and in terms of uh, items. It's, it's insane. So you're going to be rushing Divine Sunder into Sterix or Divine into Black Cleaver. If they have a bunch of tanks, like if a Malphite Rams, that type of thing, Black Cleaver, otherwise you just go Sterix. So here we'll be Divine into Sterix. We'll pick up tier two boots in between. Probably get played still cap since I have an 80 top 80 jungle. He's got full fury and minion advantage. This would be a hard trade to take even though I'm ahead. It would be an unfavorable trade. Eh. I freeze, it's fine. I could honestly freeze from here, it's not a big deal. This is an easy freeze for me. I could pick up a refill, something like that to help. I don't want to freeze this, it's too many minions. Even though I lost my control where it's not a big deal. Getting a bunch of minions here. I think there are junglers nearby. You can only do so much though. I ignited him early. We canceled our R to auto attack him. If you want to get your extra Sheen proc in, especially in 1v1s, you're, it's very typical to cancel your R after you land the initial knockup, especially if you're within range to auto them because your autos and Q resets do more damage than your R in one versus one. So the only reason you stay on your R is if there's multiple people to apply the AOE. Or if your Q's on cooldown, in which case you don't want to cancel your R because you can't auto attack Q reset. And now we can take some turret plates. It's really hard for Nectin to stun me because right when he turns around to do it, if I W, he's going to stun the clone. We're going to E the minion to get the attack speed, auto attack Q reset, shred this turret. And we're going to back off. Should take him some time to clear those minions. We should be able to get back in time. Whoa, y'all, we played against Set last game. Playing against Set on Wukong, you just need to be patient for your level two and then you win. Your level two is way better than his level two. We have played still caps. We'll go ahead and pick up a one potion. You can even get life still items on Wukong. Bork isn't the end of the world on him. Bork's decent because of his attack speed steroid. Ravenous is okay on him as well, but generally you do want just divine tier two boots Sterix black cleaver or black cleaver Sterix. That's his main build If you're in a bit of a poke matchup getting some life still can be nice or going Doran shell instead of Doran blade can be nice Oh no, not my Zuck. 
I'll go ahead and stage shove this. You shouldn't really use your W to shove waves. You only use it if you have to freeze it. Use it to tank. We're actually shoving. It's a lot on cooldown. And once you use it, they know it's on cooldown. And they can make a play on you. I'll attack Q resets. I wish you could eat the turret directly. Gotta wait for minions to do it. That attack speed bonus. That was an accident. Should have queued the turret. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Good thing my R gives me a speed up bonus. Alright, I gotta change my path and path directly to turret. I guess Ori doesn't have R because they just had a big fight. <laughs> yeah, they, they weren't gonna get me. That, that that chase was over. We got the turret. I can solo Renekton. My ignite's up. I also have item advantage. I think Ari's still here. Yeah, she is still here. They know I'm in the bush. Just need Kiana to shove. There's two people top. That really hurt. Oh, I might actually have to reset. If there are junglers here, I'm gonna die. We'll catch wave reset. Now all back. I might actually go for a Bork this game. Bork would be really, really nice. Sterix is just better. I do. I really do want some kind of life still though. Renekton can take short, snappy trades. Trade off HP. He'll off his Q. Top lane's over no doubt now though. Like once you get their turret, you don't really come back unless they're pushing a huge wave on it, and then you can catch and kill. So at this point, you, you really just roam, try to get the other turret plates, or try to get the other outer turrets, build more map pressure. Try to W, get on top of her. Wow, that charm really slowed me down. My dash, I dashed right on top of her, but the charm puts you in such a slow, I couldn't even stay on top. Kind of sucks. Oh well. She's backing right now. I want to get this turret. And I think we get it. 229 damage. That's so high. I'm going to have to speed up away. There's too many of them. We can't fight 2v4. Might be able to kill their AD carry though. He's being greedy. Solo splitting bot. Oh, he's got a freaking pink ward. He's got a control ward right there. I'm just dead here. If this is like their whole team for some reason. She might actually die. Ooh, no, she's got uh she actually would have died there, but she had that support item that gives shield. Tragic. They're five man grouping. Five man grouping on Empty Dragon River. I must have been on a ward. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, Oracle Lens. That Poppy W is really good versus Wukong. Since his W counts as a dash, her W crippled me there. can't afford pickaxe it sucks except for our control word we win 5v5s easy they can't 5v5 us at all with the zack cc and my cc trend in the set set's gonna destroy champions like that any champion that's pure melee like they can only do damage through melee <laughs> and plus set can grab trendomir out of his dash really easily with when trendomir trendomir when he goes a dash away set can just grab him out of the air I don't think that's going to be a good matchup for Trend at all. There's some matchups where you just don't want to pick certain champs. Generally, low tier champs, they have a 
more hard matchups and the hard matchups that they have are more and more unwinnable like that's what makes a champion low tier because there are matchups where low tier champs shine and do very well it's just they have less of those matchups Wu can split push generally that's when you go for team math though this is more of a team fight build and we've already gotten their outer turrets too so there's less incentive for me to well i guess there's more incentive for me to split now that turret's gone we just need to five main group and win. Can Jack support? Not really. Maybe against Leona. Something he can block their CC with. Like he can block Leona's stun. Leona Q with his E. That might work. After we get Harold. Hopefully I'll get it and I can choose when to use it. Alright, got it. Group for dragon. I'll be there on drag. I'd rather not give this turret if I can though. Alright, I'm on my way. Be there a little bit late. That is a-okay. You don't have TP. If you are going to split push on Wukong, generally you'd want to go TP instead of Ignite. I went Ignite for the cheese. Ignite's really good if they have self heals. If they're a Conqueror champion or a self heal champ like Aatrox or Nectin, or just Conk champ like Irelia, having Ignite's a huge diff. Dude, she's using her W like perfect every time. She's saving it for my mid dash. That's a lot of knockups. I need to get executioners. That's drag. That's drag though. Your abilities and your attacks put your Q on a lower cooldown. So in fights you get to spam your Q a lot, especially if you're landing big R's. Shredding people. Cancel an R if you need to if it's solo. Otherwise, in that team fight, I really used full R durations because I was hitting multiple people at once. There was no reason to really cancel the R. Can Garen beat Wukong? I'm not sure. I haven't played enough Wukong matchups to know exactly how they all work. I do know that even if you're in a bad matchup on Wukong, if you can just not die and hit level six, you pretty much outscale everyone. So, wave management and not dying, hit level six, win the game. We'll go for Black Cleaver now. Grab Control Ward. Their team's super melee heavy. They have triple melee. That, like, in team fights, we're going to be hitting at least three of them with our R. This is a pretty good game for Wukong. The more melees they have, the better. With that being said, you should ban Kane. Kane is just a gross champion. Regardless of what champ you're playing, don't let him through. We're gonna WR into them. This R is so annoying. There's a lot of damage. E auto attack Q reset. I gotta run this way. Oh, I have my Herald. I could lay this right now. Oh, cool. Harold didn't take aggro. I like it. He's a goner. I gotta get out of here, though. This is getting a little bit too hot and heavy. I don't have my R. Bonk. Zach's got warm marks. He's unstoppable. He's so busted. Got it. Yeah, just keep scaling. Team fight. Don't want to split too much. Unless you have TP, in which case you just perma split. And then you TP in the fights. Got a big wave coming up here. I'm going to ping Zach to engage on this. I'm on my way. Like, someone's obviously going to come catch this fat wave. It's a dead giveaway.
Mm, I actually didn't want him to show there. That's fine. Oh, that's not great. She just keeps blocking me off with her stuff. It's so annoying. R is about to run out. Let's go ahead and use it for the movement speed. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this particular fight. R does a lot of AOE damage to where even if we die, it's not going to be easy. Got him. Nice. Ooh. Probably get to Samir so she can heal back up. All right, I can take it, I guess. I guess she wants to back. I was gonna give it so she could heal up. Red buff heals you a lot passively. Like we're at 63 health regen, 50 health regen now. It's really, really high. This Poppy didn't even use her W. She's so disciplined. And she's not burning it. Whenever she has that little circle around her, she speeds up in any dash. It doesn't affect blinks like flashes, but any dash or leap, it uh, cripples, even tumbles, I believe. So the main tumble. But if you're low on health, can you die from taunting someone? Uh, yeah, like they still do damage to you. Taunting doesn't make them do less damage. It's like a Rambus taunt. If you have one HP, you're gonna die. Can, oh, I already read that one. I see, I see, got our black cleaver. I think we'll go for T-Mat now, we'll get Ravenous. Can't afford it. Just go for executioners. Can't afford that either. We'll go executioners into ravenous. We have over 50% KP. Feels good. They're gonna push dragon here. Might be able to win dragon fight 4v5. We're in a good position. Yeah, I don't like this fight anymore. It's a bad fight if our tanks are down. Samira's gonna die. I might be able to get turned out of this. Might be able to get a turret. I wasn't gonna get there in time. Samira's actually outplaying them, but like if Ari were to press R, she'd wipe her. I'll save these minions here to dash to, and I can use them as pack speed. So even if they guaranteed get dragon, if we get a turret and inhib, this is actually way better since that wasn't sold for them. And now they just lost inhib. Now we can potentially set up Baron or get bot turret or whatever. It's really, really big. I'm gonna shove this. They're most likely gonna catch. All right, now I'm out of here. We don't want to stay. We can set up Botter or Baron. Just double you were out of there. <laughs> Whoa! Get me out. Oh, she got creamed. Double R knockups. Yeah, this is a Penta, I think. This is my Penta! Penta, Penta time, boys. Oh! Penta, let's go! GG, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. If you enjoyed this Wukong top lane commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.